Watch the head. And now, our feature presentation. What's good, squad? Welcome back to another day. I am here starting the next leg of the world tour. Eric left his cell phone at the security. So far, the trip is off to a pretty forgetful start. First leg, Louisville to Chicago. To uh, go grab some deep dish pizza here in Chicago. Let's go. This is a beautiful thing right there. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we just got some amazing deep dish pizza here in Chicago, and we have a long layover here, so we thought we'd come out. Get some of this legendary Chicago pizza, and now we're gonna go check out a legendary landmark here in Chicago called Clout. You've probably seen it, it's like a big silver bean looking thing. We're gonna go check that out. We have like six hours before our flight to Jordan, so making the most of it here in the windy city. All right, now we are Ubering over to Cloud Gate. Just got done having some pizza. Touched it. It's your turn. All right, so we just got up here to Cloudgate, got some uh, shots for the Around the World video. Next up, we're gonna try and get some drone shots. Shh. A lot of police around, and I don't know if drones are, let's say, legal in this zone. I just saw Casey Neistat get a shot of this in his vlog, so I have to assume it's okay. He probably had a permit, though. We don't have a. Jordan on the Royal Jordanian. 11 and a half hour flight. Just got off an 11 hour flight to Jordan. Closer to 12. Just got off an 11 and a half hour flight to Jordan. We got on the plane in Chicago at 8 p.m. on Sunday. It's now 4 p.m. on Monday, but we only flew for like 12 hours. But it's now like, we were behind the sun. Now it's like 20 hours, I don't know, it's crazy. But we're here in Jordan getting ready to connect to Cairo. I'm so tired. <laughs> What's hilarious is I kind of blend in here, kind of dark complected. I have Lebanese ancestry. I kind of blend in with everyone else here. Eric, on the other hand. So we are going to find our gate back this way and we're 
we're walking uh, the opposite direction. I was trying to find a sign that says like, welcome to Jordan, it doesn't exist. We have only seen like a small fraction of the airport. We should probably go to our gate and like make sure it's not boarding already, you know? Anyway, it's been a long flight, long travel day. There we go, 110, Cairo, that's us. Okay, so we're on flight number three, the first leg of this world tour. This is like the second leg of the world tour, first leg of travel of this world tour to get to Egypt. We're now on the third flight of this leg. How you holding up? Third flight in six, 15 hours? Yeah. 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 Third country. So we're here in Jordan. Um, really kind of an interesting dynamic in that airport. I've never had my bags more thoroughly searched. They were totally like questioning some of the magic props that we were bringing, which rightfully so. They're kind of weird. But uh, challenges like this are always uh, a real thing in foreign countries. All the immigration form is just written in Arabic, so don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, we're leaving Jordan. We're headed to Egypt. to the hotel. All right, we are jamming out in this Egyptian taxi, headed to the pyramids at Giza. It smells like so many things. It, it smells, smells like candy and fireworks and grape Kool-Aid. It does, it smells very strawberry. Like a strawberry air freshener. It's nice though. <laughs> Egypt. You can see there's a pyramid somewhere over there. It's kind of dark. You might not be able to see it. We'll see it better tomorrow in the light. But we made it to our room. On the way here though, I don't know how much of that footage we got, but our Uber driver, our Egyptian Uber driver, we're riding in the car. The traffic here in Egypt is absolutely crazy. It's the most like intimate traffic I've ever been in. Like cars are centimeters from each other and like so much honking. <laughs> And like there's like two and three year olds and like infant babies like being held on motorcycles like entire families riding on a motorcycle just weaving through traffic the most insane like scene that i've ever experienced as far as like driving conditions in a country he did a great job we didn't hit anyone it was just crazy but after that whole melee he says five minutes of crazy and we're like um okay it's okay then proceeds to gun it to like 120 
down the Egyptian interstate. The first car we passed, like I literally thought he wasn't paying attention. We were just about to rear end it. And at the last second, he just swerves into the other lane. Yeah. And he was like telling me to look at it. Like, oh yeah, check it out. And I'm like, watch like, Don't look at me, <laughs> look at the road. He's like, look, look, look. So if you're watching this, shout out to our Uber driver. It was the craziest driving I've ever seen. Abu, I think his name is. That was crazy. We had a great time though. And we made it to the hotel pretty quickly. So I can't complain. One of the giant pyramid, the Great Pyramids is right there. And then the rest of the complex is like behind this. So we're super close. I booked this hotel on purpose. So it would be right there for our performances. And yeah, we only have one day here. Like we're here this evening and then we're here all day tomorrow and then we literally fly out at like 1 a.m. on the following day on Wednesday. We shipped a package here full of stuff for the tricks. A bunch of cards and some merch in case we met people here to do a meetup and it's held up in Egyptian customs and it's not going to make it here in time. We did the same thing for China and Australia. Got confirmation that everything for Australia is there which was really important because all that merch is for the fan meetup. That would have been a bad one to lose that one. So I'm not super disappointed about losing this one but it is kind of a bummer but we're going to make it work with what we've got. It's okay. We're still making the best of it here. Okay, I'm on this vlog and start a new one tomorrow. We're gonna go down to the hotel restaurant. We haven't had like a proper meal in probably a full 24 hours, I'd say. So we're gonna go down, do that, and uh, come back, go to bed, because we have a super early start to tomorrow. We have one single shoot day here in Egypt, so going to have to maximize that and get as much picture, video, content as we possibly can. So I'll see you tomorrow. Come back if you wanna see the pyramid right there in the light and the sphinx and a lot of other cool stuff here in egypt then we're on our way to china then australia dubai in the middle somewhere and back home thanks for coming along on this trip uh it's been pretty crazy so far remember that anything is possible you can even start your day in chicago in the u.s looking at the big silver bean and end your day in cairo egypt looking at the great pyramids as long as you stay positive work hard and laugh at life love you guys